A virtual world in the sky. The first time you see it, it is mind-blowing. You look at these entities and they are almost lifelike. This is what British military fast jet pilots could soon be immersed in. This summer, the Royal Air Force is set to try out a new technology that, according to the company behind it, could revolutionise pilot training. We need to be training every single day of the week against relevant threats um, at scale. And we simply can't do that within the fiscal realities of, of what, we're, what we're faced with. So Red 6 thinks ATARS is a solution. What ATARS is, is a hardware-software solution culminating in a helmet-mounted display, which is augmented reality. It's not helmet-mounted queuing like legacy helmet-mounted queuing systems. It allows us to render three-dimensional contextual information up in the air. And that's how you create a virtual world up in the sky. The software is already being used in America. The US Air Force has put the training system onto its T-38, which is used to train its fighter pilots. And this summer, British pilots will get to try out the system in the Hawk. So imagine I'm flying a real airplane up in the sky. I look out and I see virtual airplanes. And if you can control those virtual airplanes through AI algorithms, now those entities will think and fly and, and, and fight for themselves. So now you can customize really relevant uh, threats at scale, at frequency, every single day of the week. It means pilots can practice dogfights against enemy fighters routinely, learning about their capabilities and tactics away from the classroom. First and foremost, you're experiencing the cognitive loads of flying an aeroplane. So all of the Gs and all the kind of stuff you're used to is there. And that's really important because our brains just don't work the same way when we're under G and, and you close the canopy. You, you, you just don't think the same way. Um, it takes maybe one or two rides to really understand what it is you're looking at because the first time you see it, it is mind-blowing. You look at an airplane and the, the, the level of render and detail and resolution and brightness, you look at these entities and they are almost lifelike, right? You, you are very quickly immersed into an environment and that's called the suspension of disbelief. You think you are there. British personnel will be able to give their verdicts later this year. Claire Sadler, Forces News, London. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.